guys, what's up? Nintendo Life here, back with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in today's video, we're gonna be fighting Fire Blight Ganon. But first, of course, we need to get our durians for food, of course. It's, it's, it's been a habit. We did it for Water Blight, we did it for Wind Blight, we gotta do it for Fire Blight, right? Now, because Fire Blight's so easily, I'm not gonna make many dishes. I'm only gonna collect five durians, that's all I need, because I only need one uh, heart dish, because, come on, guys, Fire Blight is a piece of cake. Now, the, now we're in the Gerudo Desert because uh, the jungle, it, I, I can't even remember the name of the jungle, uh, Faron, the Faron jungle, uh, it, it's, yeah, we've already grabbed the durians in the Water Blight, uh, or the, not the Water Blight, in the Wind Blight episode, so uh, they haven't respawned yet because the Blood Moon hasn't come. So, uh, off camera, I made a quick uh, little trip over here to the stable, and uh, where you, we are going to uh, go into the Gerudo Desert, go to Car Car Bazaar, because I do know they sell durians there. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead. Oh, the dog's chasing its tail. That's so cute. Uh, do we have, like, steak? I want to feed the dog. No, because I ate it. I ate it in the previous video. <laughs> no, I ate the steak. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the Gerudo Desert. Now, I've been to Car Car Bazaar before, but that was off camera because I was getting durians for an episode. Uh, some extra durians. So. Now, the reason we're going to the Gerudo Desert at night and not in the daytime is because I don't have heat resistant gear. Now, I have the Flame Breaker armor, but I don't believe that it works. Um. Uh, in the Gerudo Desert. I don't think it does. Um, that's why I'm going at night, because the Gerudo Desert is extremely cold at night, and I have the Rito gear, so uh, that's why we're going at nighttime. Uh, you can see we're easily able to trudge our way through. Uh, but yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and subscribe, and uh, let's get some hype up for Tears of the Kingdom coming out in a little less than 14 days, I'm pretty sure. Um... Or a little more than 14 days. Like, we're like 16, 17 days away from Tears of the Kingdom, so it's super exciting. Uh, we're also, uh, like, a month away from no school. So, lots of recording. And we made it to Car Car Bazaar. Now, of course, I have been here. So. Uh, she yelled that with, like, a purpose. Was it not durians? Was it hydromelons? <laughs> was I wrong? Dude, what? I think I was wrong, dude. They have durians inside the town, which is for a different episode. Oh! I thought these were supposed to be durians, not hydromelons. <laughs> uh... Okay, um, plan B then. We'll go to, uh... What? Wait a minute now, I don't have to... I don't have to shrine for Kakariko Village? What? Because you can get hardy salmon in Kakariko Village. I'm pretty sure it's in this little lake right here. Your little pond. It's the only way you can get hardy salmon in this game. Well, I'm not walking all the way there. Come on, let's just do Fire Blight then. <laughs> let's, just, let's just wing it. Let's just see if we can beat Fire Blight first try with how many hearts we got. Eight. We got the six temporary, or the, the, the six uh, normal ones, and we got the temporaries. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have nine hearts. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can totally do it. This episode's gonna be really short, guys, because... Uh... Next episode, we're gonna be getting all of the ta- Oh, no. Uh, oh, right. I gotta put the flame guard armor on, the flame brick armor. I don't have any weapons that'll combust, I don't think.
Are we good on arrows? Oh. We have no ancient arrows. Well, this will be fun. So I don't really want to go and get the ancient arrows required, so... Yeah. Uh... Let's go ahead and open the chests, I assume. Because why not? Um... So, uh, they're effective against hot things. So, we probably want to collect more ice arrows. Um... Because it's fire blight. Uh... I don't, I don't know if it's the same, because we, we saw in a, in a episode, I think it was 9, uh, where we were shooting the, f the fire, uh, the fire breathless elfos with the ice arrows, and it was instant killing them, and it was crazy. Um, ice bow, no, I don't want it. I mean, my inventory's full anyway. Uh, it is fireproof, though, because it's metal. Um, but, no, I don't want it. Oh. So let's go out here. Now I know I could just use a Revali Gale. But I want to save it for the battle because, you know, it's a Blight Ganon. Now, now the Blight Ganons are kind of cheesy. Almost. Uh, if you agree with me, they're, like, they're, like, they're kind of like a gimmick. But I mean, I get it. Like, you gotta have a boss for your dungeon. Which this is even enough. This is these are not proper dungeons. Let me let me get that straight. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna be able to make it out without Revali's Gale. Actually, wait, no. I can make it out with without Revali's Gale. We can go up the ramp. <laughs> Just realized that. I like the music. It's cool. I don't know what it reminds me of though. It reminds me of something. I don't know what, but it reminds me of something. I don't even know what it is though. That's the thing. Oh, that's so good. Do those stay open during the fight? The the little vents? Chains off. No. Stop munching. I'm not tasty. Alright, so here we go, Fireblight Ganon with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, nine hearts. It's it's possible. I, I guarantee you it's possible. Uh, it's just because I haven't played Zelda Breath of the Wild in a while, so I'm a little rusty, but uh, uh we gotta get prepared for Tears of the Kingdom, guys. Gotta get prepared for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm so excited. Uh anyway, here we go. Divine Beast number three out of four. Uh Blight number three out of four. We've done water we've annihilated water blight. Annihilated Wind Blight. So let's annihilate Fire Blight together, guys. How did Daruk die to Fire Blight anyway? He's got a literal impenetrable shield. Force field. Whatever you want to call it. How did he die? <laughs> now, out of all of them, I think Fire Blight would probably be, be the most intimidating because of the thick sword. Hello, buddy. Scourge of Divine Beast Varutania, Fireblight Ganon. He's Watch real hairy. Now. That ugly pain in the crack is Ganon's handiwork. Thing got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get He's real hairy too. Watch out for that sword. Got it. Wait! I just realized something! Oh no! I was like, we're gonna use our bomb arrows, but we're in the Elden region, so we can't use bomb arrows, we'll just explode. Oh no! That's bad. Uh... I guess we can try the ice arrows. Um... 
we can try. That's probably a good thing that Mipha's Grace is done. Everybody. Uh, come here, buddy. Yeah. Whoa, that does not do a lot of damage at all. And the vents do close. That's very kind of you, Nintendo. Very kind of you. Dude, he's kind of just chilling. This man is actually just chilling. Ow. I should have brought ancient arrows. I'm such an idiot. I swear if I die to Fireblade, I, I actually swear. <laughs> if I die to Fireblade, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna be so mad if I die to Fireblade. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Fireblade is supposed to be the easiest one. Or it's, it, it is in my opinion, anyway, but. We gotta heal crap. Just eat everything. Just, just eat everything. I mean. Oh, I, I thought that was an herb, not. Uh, it's a silent princess. Eat everything. Eat all my ingredients. I have literally nothing. Come on! Focus! Oh. His second phase? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even think fire arrows are gonna be that effective because. I don't know. We'll try it. Okay, half health. Phase two? We have to use remote bombs to get rid of his force field. That. That flaming. That flaming. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, come on, dude. Like, actually. I need something to shoot. I need something to shoot. Shock arrow. Come on, dude. Come on. Come to Papa. Ow! Thank you, Mifa! It is my pleasure. Oh, crud. Oh, not this. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I don't have a shield equipped! <laughs> oh! Oh my! Oh lord! Oh god! <laughs> We were trying to pull my shield out so I could parry. I don't have one equipped. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, I can't heal, so this is it. You okay there? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, oh, he's down. He's down. He's definitely down. <laughs> Okay. Linky! No! I died to Fireblight! Oh! What? Oh, oh, dude, what? Oh! Wow. That is actually embarrassing. Am I locked out? Dude, I'm locked out of the beast. I'm locked out of Rutania, dude. Oh, dude, that's actually embarrassing. That is actually embarrassing. <laughs> oh! Watch out for that sword! Uh so we're just gonna do this, okay? I mean, that's fine. Okay, I learned my lesson. Uh, be careful. <laughs> that's my lesson. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I'll just heal an extra heart. It's fine. Oh, 
Oh, well. That's the attack that always gets me. Is that stupid fireball one. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Uh... Lazzle Boomerang. Whoa, I dodged it. Let's go. Yes. Linky! Oh my gosh, Linky. Yeah, let's it up. I shot. Dude, you're not a tornado. Come on, you're not five. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh, crud. There we go. Half health. Here we go. <laughs> my hands are sweating so bad. Dude, Firefly is so easy. I just don't have ancient arrows. So, you know. They probably because they're so low on hearts. That's probably why. Because I have, like... Flaming ball is dangerous. Nah, really? <laughs> uh, we need to grab... Man, Ooh, that we need to get some hits in. There we go, baby. Okay. I was about to say, one more at the ancient bow, but no. Probably not. Okay, 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 okay. We just wait and yeet! Ah, oh, headshot, baby. Oh, um, I, I can snipe this man. Snipe this man. Coming? Oh yeah, he's coming. Last ice arrow. Lay it on, little guy. Uh, shock arrow. Oh wow, he dodged. Crap. Uh, I don't want to throw my chainsaw. It'll probably break. <laughs> knowing, knowing Breath of the Wild physics. Oh, this is the part where we died. <laughs> this is the part where we where it ate us. Well, we remember to flip a shield. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, baby! Come on, chainsaw smack, chainsaw smack. Chainsaw smack! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Got him. Boom. Yippee. There we go. Third Divine V's down. A. Let's go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Why that take us two tries? That is the first Divine Beast that has killed us. That, no, not. That is the first Blight Ganon that has killed us. Is Fire Blight. Water Blight never killed us. Wind Blight never killed us. Uh, we both got them first try. This one took two tries because I was stupid and I didn't get durians. <laughs> but we still got them second try, so that's pretty good. Um, now, where's my boomerang? Where, where's my boomerang? Ugh. Ugh, ah, there it is. kind of want this back. I'll take this. Heart container. Perfect. All right, here we go. Examine. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Do you still wish to activate it? Yes, I do. All right, cutscene time. And we have Rudania back. Of 
Great work, little guy. The Rook. I will big, big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. I can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all that I could to protect Harold when th that thing got the best of me. Sorry that resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is Redania is now back under our control. That means the calamity, the century old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down, down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way up into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special of my power of mine called the Rook's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes. <laughs> That's sick. From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside of you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. All right, let's watch the little cutscene. I, I don't know where Radania goes. Because uh, I know Meadow goes on the little rock. And Ruta goes up the mountain. But I don't know where Radania goes. Does it go on top of the volcano? He's like, peekaboo! <laughs> Yep, right atop Death Mountain. And then, uh, the creepy part is he's- his face, like, opens up. It's weird. <laughs> well, that ought to do it. We're sat here. Now we just gotta wait for the perfect shot. Once Lake is in the castle, Rudania will unle unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here, even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds are such a sure sight for the rolling eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Hey, well, look at that. Still going strong indeed. There we go. Three out of four Divine Beasts done. We just got to do the Zap Zap Camel. <laughs> Daruk's Protection. A protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Yep. <laughs> I 
I always do that when I get the the um power. Hey, you Nobo. Hey, brother. Thanks for so much. Thanks so much for appeasing Rodania. I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rodania, but well, it seems to have calmed down. <laughs> you know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rodania. I wonder, was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Oh, that's right. I talked to Boss about you, and he said to br bring you to him. An order from Boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. Well, I guess let's go to his boss, then. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hmm? Hey, it's you. You know who told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that, right? I can't believe you conquered Udania. Color me impressed. But good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? It was all red. I was all ready in, in Raren to go to Redon to go at Redonia myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing around about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that, me. Wah ha ha All oh, um, and I'm also happy to see Yanobo finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The Divine Beast of Aradania has calmed down and returned to its peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Oh, right. Still gotta thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you will be able to make good use of it. However, well, as a Highland, you probably already know this, but... Apparently, 100 years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. They say that sword sleeps in the lost woods, waiting. I bet you'd like to find it, eh? You should go looking. Boom. So, uh, let's get the treasure here. I said it's in here. Ah, let's see. What a very pleasant house you've got. You know, lava spilling in on both sides. And, uh, look at this very... Oh, comfortable <laughs> bed. It's so comfy. <laughs> oh, it's literally just rocks. I don't know if I can get sleep on that, you guys. Ugh. No, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll pass. Open her up. Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. So. Wow, there, there is some swing time there. But something like this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Hold on. <laughs> Why is there a Gerudo here? Savata. It's a bit early to flirt, isn't it? That's not what I... Oh, that's too bad. Who are you? Ramala, as you can see from, I, yeah, as you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are be to found in Goron City. The eruption on Death Mountain have finally come to a stop. As a result, we've started restocking jewels. Oh, do you have some amber too? I need a whole lot of it. Bring me ten of them. I'll buy you. I buy them for more than a shop would pay. Amber's. Okay. Now we got to go 
uh, to... I guess let's, uh... This is gonna- this is a fairly short video because... Like, literally this- this- the whole plan for this episode was literally just to fight... Uh, Fireblight. We weren't gonna do anything else, we weren't gonna do any traveling. It was just gonna be a nice, short, and sweet... Fireblight episode. <laughs> Uh, which, it, which it has, it's, it's been 30 minutes, so, it's, it's not that long of an episode, to be honest. Uh, but I guess you guys would, you know, like a break from, you know, the super long episodes, or maybe you don't, maybe you like the long episodes, I don't know, because usually these episodes are like an hour and 30 minutes, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's gonna end it for today, the next episode, we're gonna, uh, finish, uh, the map of Hyrule, um, that's the plan, anyway is to get uh, the two regions up here to get those two towers and the two towers down here. So we only have four towers to do. So that episode is going to be actually quite long because I'm not going to... It's just going to be... Pretty much it's, it's just going to be a VOD of me just traveling and stuff. Uh, I might cut some bits out of like traveling and... Blah, but, you know. Uh, yeah, that's today's episode. Uh, we beat Fireblight. That's three out of four Divine Beasts. We just got to do the Zap Zap Camel down in the Gerudo region. And uh, then we'll be done. So... Isn't that exciting? Uh, I'll resume my other content. Uh, I've, I'm just going to be recording Breath of the Wild this week and next week. But after Tears of the Kingdom comes out, my new schedule will be Tears of the Kingdom on Friday, Saturdays. And then Sundays, we'll switch between Nintendogs plus Cats and Tomodachi Life. So, uh, tell your friends. So, yeah. That's hopefully going to be what my new schedule is going to be. So, uh, um... Put on the screen screen. Oh, it feels so weird. I remember things. That's so weird, dude. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>